Let's take a look at the next generation of lens selection. I'm using Filmic Pro. Every shot has the right lens. We've divided the viewfinder into individual feeds, but now you can shoot with multiple cameras at the same time. The all new Filmic Pro will be available later this year, only in the App Store. Thank you. And yes, folks, it is here. After a few months from the iPhone 11 release, that application is now here. It's free to download and surprisingly has no catch. There's no watermark when you're recording your videos, nor is there a paywall to unlock features. But it wasn't given to us as promised during the keynote. And it has some limitations like it cannot currently, it cannot shoot at 4K and it's locked at 30 FPS or lower. And it's only able to record using two cameras at once, not the multiple cameras as they described during a keynote. But nonetheless, after using this app, I learned a couple of tricks that I want to share with you guys. Some cool ways to really capture some unique looking shots. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and share that. But before we do that, let's just go over the basics to make sure everybody's on the same page. All right, so this is the quick overview of Double Take app. And yes, you can shoot both portrait and landscape mode. And that was kind of trippy, I'm not gonna lie. But this is the overlay of the UI. And the SD card icon you see here is just your camera roll where you can go back and preview all the videos that you recently have shot. The bottom checkmark icon lets you select the certain clips you want to select. And if you press and hold, this will automatically select all of the clips. Next to that, underneath here, you will see a camera roll icon. When you select this, it will automatically save it all to your camera roll so you can view it on your iPhone's photo library. Next to that, this upper arrow icon, if you tap on this, you can share the videos that you selected to either contact or airdrop or open it up on another application. And obviously, the red trash can icon will delete the videos that you selected if you want to. Hit the X on top to go back to this page and underneath that you see this little lens icon right here. When you select this, this gives you the ability to select the four different lens that you have available on your phone. So right here we have ultra wide, wide, telephoto, and even selfie. You can only select two and record at the same time, but you notice that we have A and B and when you select them, the color goes back on, on that lens. Then on the bottom here where you see the FPS speed, remember how I said it's limited, you can only select up to, from 24 to 25 FPS or 30, that's the maximum. On the top with those two overlay squares, the black and white corner, this is your mode that you can select. So picture in picture, split screen, but I'll go more into detail in a little bit on what each mode does. And the other icon that you see on the bottom left, if you tap on this, this will actually launch the Filmic Pro app If in case you already have it installed on your app. It doesn't do anything, it's just a quick shortcut to get access to this application if you need to. So that's there, but it doesn't really utilize it and it's not really required to be purchased or downloaded on your device when you're running the two applications. So when switching to the streak mode, this one's my favorite one because this one will actually separate the two camera views that you see here and save them in separate camera rolls, files. So now you may have saw I'm done capturing this file. If we go to our library, you'll see here that they are separated. It's the full resolution screen too. So no limitations, you can preview it and save it back to your camera roll. Now when switching in the picture in picture mode, it may look the same, but this one, when you hit record, what it, the little box you see on the side of the screen, it's gonna stay in the camera roll all in one file instead of two separate video files. So as we're moving this box around, it's also gonna be moved around in the video. So you can move in on all these three different angles on each side. And you can also maximize it too, or swipe it down out of the way to remove it entirely. And then you just tap the little arrow icon to bring it back. You can also do the same thing on full screen too. And to show you, as we end the recording and go into our video roll, if we select the video that we just recorded, check this out. And we, we see the little square box moving as we were moving it during the shot. And the last one is split screen. And just like the previous one, the way it looks like on the viewfinder, it's how it's gonna look like on the camera roll. Now this is really cool. I like to use this for not just for interviews, but also to create some really unique looking B-roll shots. And then since it does support landscape mode and portrait mode, if you rotate it, you can use this for TikTok, the gram, or other story sharing social media platforms like Facebook story and all that good stuff. Snapchat maybe. Now yes, you can lock the focus and the exposure on both lens. So you don't have to, you're not stuck with one. So you could lock it in like so. 
but there's no digital zoom support. Not yet, maybe in the future, who knows, but you're stuck with the focal length of each lens. But that is the quick overview of everything there is to know about this application. Now, some cool things that you could do to not just use the app, but also use the phone at its full potential. Using the split mode, combo with that ultra wide lens and the front facing camera lens, I was able to quickly capture a b-roll footage of me testing out an upcoming product side by side. For those who don't know, if you're running with the ultra wide lens on an iPhone, the footage will come out super stable. And because of this, I was easily able to capture myself wearing these earbuds at the same time running without having a jittery footage. Here's another very similar shot. This time I'm using discrete mode, so I have two separate files recorded at once, but saved in their own separate clips. So using that same ultra wide lens I was telling you about, the footage looks really smooth. And even though I am using a gimbal on this shot, but the front facing camera, you could tell it's somewhat shaking, but when you combo that with the ultra wide lens, it's the perfect combo. It comes out looking super smooth, almost like a GoPro. But even just using the regular telephoto lens, it looks pretty cool when you combo that with the ultra wide, just walking in general. I don't know why, it just gives it like a cool cinematic look. Just look at that cup action. If you were featuring like a cell phone or a product, this is actually really cool to get like a really close perspective close up. Even this other shot in general of me just walking up the steps, I don't know why, just having the telephoto limb co combo with the ultra wide really does give it like a fascinating look. And then if you don't lock the focus, it does automatically adapt and focus to the subject at large. Minus I feel with the telephoto lens, it does require some color correction. But having fun and just using it in general, it is a really cool experience. And definitely does make things interesting when you're sharing things on the go on social media. And there you have it, that is how I benefit from using Double Take on my iPhone 11 Pro. The app does support other iPhones and it's also free to download. Just you're not gonna get all these different camera lens options like you would on an iPhone 11 Pro. But if you wanna check out some real tips and tricks of everything you need to know about your iPhone 11, you go ahead and click on this video as I go through all the cool, amazing new features that got innovated on these latest generation iPhones. And then this video over here, that's just a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. They believe you're gonna like it, so give it a shot, watch it. Let me know in the comments if YouTube was right. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.